okay so in this video basically i will talk about how can we integrate and derivative in the matlab so in the matlab first of all um, we will uh, open this lab script right and first of all we will define this some symbolic variable for example s and y when we define these symbolic variables x and y let's say uh, then we will write a function for which we want to find the derivative let's say we have a, a function uh, which is given by in respect in terms of y which is with like uh, x square minus 3 times x right okay so now this is our uh, this is our symbolic variable uh, function and you want to uh, derivative this y with respect to x so uh, in order to do this we need a matlab function and the matlab function used for this type of uh, equation is called uh, the dev function right so i will write the dev function right and uh, well uh, as you can see that uh, dev is basically uh, it requires the uh, the function name right and the variable by which with respect to which we want to derivative okay so you want to derivative y with respect to x, right? And I will assign this result to a variable called dy dx, right? Okay. So let's uh, hit the run button. And as you can see on my right uh, on my right screen, that the answer is 2x minus 3. So it is pretty pretty obvious because x squared minus 3x is eventually the value of uh, two uh, of dy dx, which is 2x minus 3. Okay, so one thing you have to remember about these symbolic function that uh, they are not like the common MATLAB variables, right? So when I write in the command window whose, right? So you will see that the t x y. Okay, let me uh, clear all the variables from the command window. So when I clear all the variables and when I type, uh, um, right? Okay, so when I type uh, whose. So you can see that there are no variables uh, at this time. But when I hit the run button again, then uh, then you will see that uh, this function uh, is defining the symbolic variable x and y, right? So you can see that the dy, dx, x and y, they are both defined in the workspace. Okay, so when I want to show this, then I will write this command whose, and you can see that dy, dx, x and y, they are both uh, are classified as, you know, the symbolic variables, right? Okay, so when they are classified as symbolic variables, so symbolic variables are not the common variables which we use in MATLAB. They are not the double type variable, not these. these, these are, this is a unique type of variable. Okay, so <clears throat> let's say we want the <clears throat> we want uh, the slope of this function. Let, uh, first of all, let's let's plot this function, right? Okay, so I will plot this function using the f plot command, right? And I will uh, I shall plot the command from uh, let's say one to five zero to five. Okay, so when I plot the y uh, from zero to five, then you can see that uh, plot function. Okay, okay, yeah, this this is plot the function, right? Okay, so as you can see that uh, at at this point in uh, in function terms, right? If I want to, uh, you know exaggerate this figure if I want to open it in a new window uh, and you will see uh, you, you you can you can see that it has been plotted from 0 to 5 right and uh, at x equals 0 the y has a value of 0 and also if you look uh, carefully here the net x equals 1.5 uh, the value of uh, the value of y is 0 right so uh, let's say uh, I'm interested in finding the slope value at uh, at the point of 1.5. So what I will do, I will simply uh, substitute. I will I will use another function called uh, the subs, right? Subs. Okay. Okay. So now I will uh, dy dx. I will pass the two the input argument as dy dx, and I will uh, my point of interest is 1.5, right? And I will assign this uh, this variable a uh, name called the slope 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 at uh, 1.5, right? Slope at 1.5. Okay. 
so when I when I when I do this right and when I hit the run button right so as you can see as you can see that the slope at uh, 1.5 is 0 and it is pretty obvious from this graph that you know this graph intersects at, at the at the 1.5 uh, with the x-axis so the slope is 0 here right so that's how you can find the differentiation okay now uh, when i want to integrate this function uh, let's say uh, this uh, dy dx so we can verify that it, it is indeed equal to um, x squared minus 3x so what i will do i will write that uh, y y equal integration of uh, dy and dx uh, with respect to x right so when i do when i do these th this integration so you will see that this x squared minus 3x uh, okay i will write this as y new so you can see that the y new and y they will they will have the same result right okay so uh, as you can see that x it, it comes out to be x minus 3x right so uh, this is basically the same thing that x squared minus 3x only the x is common right so the x into x minus 3 this is basically the y value and as you can see that a uh, MATLAB is a very powerful tool in, in order to solve these derivative and these integral functions right so hope you enjoy it thank you for watching it see you next time goodbye